Hello, hello guys. I hope you're doing well and welcome to Farming in Africa. My name is Fred and today I find myself in the US in Indiana. If you can see how cold I am, um, yeah, they say the cold is over but it's not over for me. I came from Ghana, it's very hot, um, so I'm not doing very well in the cold but you know, I got to do what I'm here to do. Um, I'm here for just a few days and I'm learning about artificial insemination, I'm learning about embryo transfer, I'm learning about how to fight parasites in goat farming, in sheep farming and in livestock farming in general. So today I found myself in one of the amazing farms here um, that I arrived here last night and we are here to do some AI embryo transfer and flushing and so on and so forth. But I want to take you guys around your facility so that if you're watching me you can also learn something from what I'm learning. I know most of us are thinking about building our pen, how should we build it, what are the materials that I use, uh, the design and so on. This is the kind of things I do and then at the end of the day I'm able to put all of it together and come up with a design that suits me and works for my environment. So today I want to take you guys around and show you so that as you're going around you can also be picking few things and see what will work for you in your project, in your livestock farm or whatever that you're doing. Right, so I'm gonna flip my camera around and show you guys. So here is the band. Um, so inside in this building is where we are doing the AI. I think it has started, but I'm outside just to show you guys. So as you guys know, I've moved away from commercial farming to really doing, you know, model farming and um, the AI and embryo transfer. So this farm is very, very important to me because of how it's set up. You know, they don't have too many goats here. The goats and sheep they have here, they are basically donors, you know, so, or they are receivers. And, and, and that's what they're doing here. So the pen design, as you can see from here, it's very very small one so here they bring some cows here they'll bring maybe five cows keep them here and then artificially inseminate them or you know flash their embryo and so on so as you can see there's a cow actually in front of me this cow is a baby cow but you can see how big it is guys right and this cow is probably going to something here i'm not sure yet um, but this is how the structure is done so they walk in here these guys are here the pasture is out there you guys can see so as they are grazing they can bring them into this pen open that gate there they get in they close it they feed them here and if they need to work on them they open that gate right there and these guys will walk into this path and then go into the room where the ai and everything is happening um these are also small spaces i think this is more for goats but let's go i want to show you some goat pens so that you guys can see so they'll walk them through there into this pen all the way here and as they get here you know they have different houses for them so these are some boa goats in there but before we go into this i want to show you guys these ones so this is also another walking path um so they have the spanish goats i don't know if you guys know the spanish goats um there they are right so these are the spanish goats those of you living in europe i'm sure you've seen this kind of goats um they are not as big as our boa kalahari red um but they are in between that and our um west african dwarfs you know they get much bigger than the west african dwarfs though thank you for watching this far if you've enjoyed what you've watched so far be rest assured we have a lot more like this for you all I need you to do right now is to take just a second of your time, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any more content like this you enjoy. Also, you doing this would help reach more people with similar interests like yourself. So by all means, hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of it. Yeah, and look at this. So as you guys have seen my new farm building something like this for when they are kidding. So you know they have different small spaces for them to just kid let's look at this so look at these guys so this is maybe a boa mix with um with the spanish goats over there and you can see the feeding you know these are some great ideas we should all learn yeah you can see how they they've done the feeding 
yeah so these small small pens for them to cade inside and they all have like you know this in for you to put the goat details on it um yeah and then they have this is basically um feed corn corn stock that have been cut into pieces um there right so again yeah there's just some um yeah these are some goats as well some boa goats yeah and you can see you see how this is done very gently done um see how the locker is done you can learn something from this um if i push this pull it go but look this is a spanish goat that i think it was given a boa embryo so it has given birth to a pure boa goat and this is the kind of technology we are trying to learn right if you put an embryo of a pure boa embryo and you give it to a west african drive you give it to a sahelian goat they will give birth and you still get a pure boa goat and that is the miracle this is what we are hoping to do in west africa amazing work and i'm here to see it for myself to see what is possible so that we can take this technology and this knowledge to africa these are boa goats they were all uh, embryo used look at that beautiful baby goats guys the structure alone it's amazing look at these goats yeah so this is the kind of um, structure we're trying to do this is what i am here to learn so that we can all benefit from it in west africa um i don't know how long i'm gonna be here but i'll be at this farm for about maybe um two more days and then work with them try to study a lot and then go back to chicago and then from there um, head back to ghana so this is a short trip but very important dedicated specifically for ai and embryo transfer and i'm very happy with what i've learned so far and i'm gonna continue learning and share it with you guys so i'll see you in my next video